Today, a mid-size pro diver from Seiko. I saw it in the window at Kavar Jewelers and the bezel looked faded from far away. I was like, I need to check that one out. So that's what we're doing today. So let's begin. <laughs> Introducing the all new Seiko SNE 569 and there is that faded bezel I was talking about. Of course, it is not faded. It is a brand new aluminum insert with those beautiful ridges, concentric circles. Now, some people have been saying it's plastic. Definitely not. I emailed Seiko Canada and while they didn't get back to me yet, sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. On the Street Series Tuna, on the global Seiko website, Seiko themselves saying it's aluminum and I'm gonna trust Seiko on Seiko products. And in my last video, I did mention it was aluminum. So I just wanted to confirm that. Speaking of the bezel, let's have a listen. All right. Typical Seiko dampened feel, nice and smooth. Now, all the ones I've handled were really stiff on the first turn. So be wary of that. We already did the patty version of this watch and one of my longtime subs commented sea urchin. And you know what? It does have a sea urchin vibe. I totally missed it. Maybe because when I look at a sea urchin, I see a sub Mariner homage. But when I look at this new SNE, 569, I don't get Submariner homage at all. It has a strong Seiko vibe through and through with that beautiful squat wide body case, with that bold, strong, thick lug design just has its own Seiko character. And I love that high polished chamfer that goes on top of the lugs all the way across above the crown guards to the other side. It is a beautifully done case and I do not see Submariner homage here. Let me know down below in the comment section how right or how wrong am I? Now we do have a 20 mil bracelet tapering down to 18 with female end links. Fitment is awesome, very tight, no play, even though it is hollow. So good job there. We do have high polish relief down the center of those mid links. Pins and collars, and unfortunately a pressed clasp with dive extension. However, it's 18 mil. What does that mean? You can replace it with this one, the regular 18 mil clasp from Alibaba. <laughs> Strap code uses them. You can get them on Ali. I bought this one for like five bucks. So it's 18 mil and it's ultra thin and it will connect here. I know a lot of people like to complain about this bracelet, but it feels ultra smooth. There's no hot spots. The links are solid. It's just the end links and the clasp. And we can fix that clasp very easily for five bucks. And the end links being so, uh, hollow, it's not a big deal when they fit this nicely. All right. I love that tucked in look. It's very similar to my tutor. That's a slightly tucked in look. You, you can see that high polished edge on the inside of that lug. Let's do those measurements. I got 38.6 in diameter, 11.1 .1 in thickness. So ultra thin with a sapphire crystal, flat sapphire, no anti-reflective coating. All right, drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 46.7, a nice healthy six mil crown, easy to grip and operate. Now the dial on this one reminds me of the SPB 143, the anthracite dial. So I'm just gonna say it's gray anthracite because I don't know, some people are saying it's blue. Some people are saying it's black. This color, <laughs> it's just, guys, do you see purple on that bezel right now or do you see blue? I'm seeing purple right now, purple gray. Anyways. Maybe Seiko was going for anthracite dial, anthracite insert. Anyways, it looks great regardless of the color. We have a brushed hour and minute hand and reverse lollipop seconds hand. This one seems to be hitting the marks and lined up better than the patty was. All right, so hit and miss with these entry level Seikos. Now the price, speaking of entry level, 495 USD. 
That's a pro diver from Seiko aluminum insert, sapphire crystal, ISO wet tested, um, and it looks gorgeous. So of course, call Kavar Jewelers, let them know I sent you and they will take care of you. Now, this one has the Seiko V147 plus minus 15 seconds a day, people reporting some of my subs getting much better. I believe this movement has two jewels like the 157. I'm not 100%. I don't want to open up the case back. It's not my watch, unfortunately. A uh, 10 month battery and it does have quick start. So it's going to jump to life if it ever dies and it sees the sun. Okay, let's check it out next to 63 mass. All right, both of these pro divers, 200 meters, sapphire crystal, 40.5 in diameter on the 63 mass versus 38.6. Look at that. And thickness, they both have 20 mil lugs. Mm hmm. 11.1 versus 13.1. All right, so two mils exactly different. And there we can see the lug to lug difference, 47.8 on the 63 mass and 46.7 on the new SNE. So if you have the 63 mass and you feel it wears a little bit too big for you, this is the answer. I know some people wish this was automatic and I don't know, to keep this thinness, <laughs> we would need to put the 6L in here and then Seiko would have to charge 2000 and then they would probably up the case quality, do a little bit better polish and brushing for that price as well. Hmm, I think I would pay for that. <laughs> Let me know, are you guys, would, would you guys be into that? I don't work for Seiko or anything, wish I did. Um, definitely would suggest that though. Okay, here it is on my 6.5 inch wrist and yep, it wears absolutely perfect. It is a 38.6. It, I feel like it wears like a 39, similar to the Black Bay 58. Man, it's just such an easy wearing everyday piece that you don't have to worry about. Grab and go, they're so nice. I think these are gonna do well for Seiko. I think they're gonna be a huge sales success. Okay, there is the Loom Shot. Very powerful Seiko Lumerite, no surprises here. And it looks like that citizen has something to say. Hey buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, this is such a cool citizen. And let's compare it with the 63 mass. Why not? Is there a difference? And maybe a hair brighter on the 63. Yeah. In real life, they look about the same, so. Excellent loom. Good job, Seiko. Okay, here it is in low light and you can see that bezel insert looking a little more gray as it gets darker. Wow, well done by Seiko. I'm a big fan of these new mid-size divers. You got a grab and go quartz with sapphire crystal, 200 meters water resistance, screw down crown, ISO rated pro diver. There's a lot to like here and I think it's a winner. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.